Hey everyone, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a new game called Daymare 1998. Now this is going to be released on September 17th, 2019. I'm playing this a little bit before it comes out. It's developed by Invader Studios and is published by Destructive Creations and All In Games. Now this actually started out as a fan-made remaster of Resident Evil 2. That's what Invader Studios started out doing. Um, obviously it was shut down in I believe 2016, when Capcom um, decided that they were doing their own remaster of Resident Evil 2. But I believe Invader Studios actually got to like work a little bit on that remaster to help out Capcom a bit, use some of the, the work that they'd already done. And they kind of got the blessing to go ahead and make a, a similar kind of game. And that's what Daymare 1998 is. So I've actually had this game in my Steam library for like a month now. They very kindly gave me super early access to this with like any other game that is ideal but with a spooky horror game you kind of don't want to do just a regular review you want to do a first impressions video where people can see your reactions especially when you're as bad with spooky games as I am so I've had this just sitting around for like a month and I've just had to wait until pretty much close to the release date to actually record the video just a reminder I'm terrible with spooky games so we'll, we'll see how long I can last with this I haven't played like Resident Evil or anything. <gasps> Beginner mode. Perfect. <laughs> Extra resources and weaker enemies. I mean, the spooks will still be the same and that's what we're here for. So we'll, we'll go, for, you know, manual. Perfect. Several hours have gone by since communications with Aegis Laboratory have been cut off. Now two teams of highly trained Hades, Hexacore Advanced Division for Extraction and Search operatives are called out to investigate. Their mission, find the missing researchers who seemingly vanished without a trace and retrieve sensitive, highly classified materials for a clandestine branch of the US government. Tasked with gaining access to the lower levels of the lab, Special Agent Liev barges into the second service entrance, and it's there that he discovers the security system has initiated a facility-wide quarantine, automatically shutting everyone in and serving as a warning to would-be invaders that some kind of experiment has gone horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, it's taken a while to load. Okay, we are in. I guess we start off as Liev. The evacuation of all remaining personnel. Code Blue, repeat, this is a Code Blue emergency. Please respond, anyone, please. My name is Rebecca Jordan. I'm a doctor at the Aegis Medical Facility on the North Ball Islands. We have a problem of some magnitude here. There's a situation in the building that requires there's been a terrible mishap. I, I think we've been exposed to some kind of gas, a corrosive agent that latches onto the lungs, warping people outside. Signal lost. That transmission was the last communication out of Aegis's laboratory 12 hours ago. The latest news parameters are courtesy of our friends over at the DOD. It seems the corrosive agent in question is actually the same experimental gas you've been ordered to retrieve. Only problem is, they forgot to mention in the initial brief that it's also a new type of chemical weapon that kills almost everyone it afflicts. Rest assured, all entrances and exits to the building were automatically sealed at the first sign of a breach, which is standard security protocol when the mishaps occur. Your teams will infiltrate the facility as such. Epsilon, you'll enter via the central lobby on the second level, which serves as the main access point, and edge your way to the which one I am. Delta, you will simultaneously sweep through the lower levels where the main that laboratory is located. That one. Gotta be one of them. Priority red. You do understand oh, this. Damn it. I'm the guy, not the robot. Well, you know. If I were a betting man, I think I'd bet that the odds of uh making it home in one piece are uh 
a lot better with you on the battlefield. But that's if, you know, Gomer Pyle doesn't put us down first. Just shut the fuck up, Leaf. Goddamn motor mouth. Don't let him get Can't say that. Kid. That Shepard squawks that anyone with a bigger stick. Which is pretty much everyone. Never should have pulled his ass out that fire back in Bloom in 94. Thanks, Hayden. Er, understood, Major. Damn it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should just let the past go. Romero Fort Gulf, this is HQ. We hold you on gadget and show you entering the airspace above the island. You should be within visual range of Aegis at any moment. Over. HQ, this is Sandman Action. Descent for November Foxtrot India. Standing by for mission go. Sandman Actual, this is HQ. You are mission go. Authentication Echo Gulf 394 at time 0227 Zulu. Out. We are mission go. This is the second platform. And the end of the line for you, lead. Green will infiltrate the laboratory via the third platform. After that, Raven and I will hold position at the external loading bay. And remain on alert 5 to pick you rubber suckers up upon completion. At which point, we'll recoup on platform 2. Keep your comms clear as a precautionary measure. Oh my god, we do gotta be this guy. Roger that. Comms clear. En route to primary objective. Over and out. Unless I just put a nice hat on. Which is fine. Apparently there's three characters to play as. I think we're starting out as Liev. Oh god. That's fine, actually. Um, that's weird. Okay, looks looks really good, actually. HQ here. More talking. We are remotely overriding the service access to Aegis Station. As explained during the brief, the data interchange device is still being tested for field use. Nevertheless, it will become your most important resource, allowing you to manage weapons, consumables, consult maps, state, and above all, Whoa. allow you to interact with any type of electronic device. Over. Oh, cool. I hope we don't see more of those lag spikes. Man, it's just the weather. I've got this on, oh no, on uh, high graphic settings. There we go. I'll drop it down to medium just to try and get rid of the stuttering. Okay, still looks pretty good. I'm sure it's still going to be hella spooky. But the stuttering looks like it's still there occasionally. Oh, it is, okay. I think that's just like CPU bottleneck. It's obviously a really high CPU usage in this game, unfortunately. Which means my poor little computer will not be able to run it very well. Even drop in the graphics. So many cutscenes. Judging from the fragments of video we pull from surveillance, it appears that several tanks labeled CSR-3 have already been attached to the main hoisting unit. I'll say I'll stand by at the main doors to the freight elevator. Over. You got it, buddy. Copy that. Objective confirmed. Looks like the contagion leaked out from a couple tanks crammed into the area. There are also sure signs of a firefight and explosive residue. Proceeding with the mission. Over. Okay, I have a gun on my hip. How do I how do I equip it? Aha! Got a little pistol. So we have very little ammo. Just like Resident Evil, I believe. Where like zombies are like fucking tanks and you do like no damage to them. We don't have like any markers or anything, do we? Just another cutscene. <laughs> you watch out for that fire extinguisher. That guy wasn't zombied. He was just like burnt alive. <gasps> it's about time you guys got here. You're alive, you Al. Emergency response, right? That's right, Agent Liev. How's the leg? Oh, uh, it hurts like hell. But I'll be all right. Can't move very far though. That's unfortunate. Listen, I need to search this place for survivors. I'll come back for you as soon as I can. Survivors? Yeah, well, good luck with that. Someone was on the radio. Anyway, I'll be waiting here. I just need to rest my eyes a little. 
He'll be dead by the time we get... Terminate the Aegis Worker, oh my god. Damn. Excuse me? <laughs> In order to perform the reloading action, you must first select the magazine from the quick slot sub-menu. Oh, so if you just press R, you just drop, like... Okay. Interesting. Okay, so if we hold it, then we don't drop it. So can I, like, pick that big bit, bit up? That's pretty cool, actually. That's gonna, like, really screw people over if they're in, like... Like a panicked situation. <laughs> Lee up to mission control, Sandman. I made contact with an Aegis worker. I followed the protocol. I'm now heading to the control room to begin loading procedures. Over. Copy that. This all brings back memories from night four. Especially that day when you opened fire on all those poor innocent people. Or what was left of them. Don't you remember? Orders are orders, Major, and those innocent people weren't exactly civilians. When you finally get your ass out of that chopper and onto the battlefield, we'll talk about it. Proceeding oh to objective. Over. Yeah, I'm sure he needed reminding of whatever happened back in 94 while he's on this very dangerous mission with zombies. As nice as difficulty settings, so like, if you do get annoyed with how tanky the zombies are, like, was in Resident Evil 2. You can just drop it down to, like, the slightly easier difficulty. And it looks like it was it was quite adjustable. You could, like, turn on, like, auto-aim and stuff like that. Well, this... Someone must have had a lot of fun down here. This doesn't look fun. You madman. Okay. There's some lore there. <laughs> Do you think this is where the lady was... Trying to get in touch with us. I think that's pretty dead. But you never know. I have to restore power first. Oh, good. This doesn't actually bother me as much as, like, other horror games do. I think it's the third person. Just makes it, like, more bearable to me for some reason. And I'm... I like, I don't want to brag, but I'm actually really good about, like, watching people play horror games. Like, um, one Halloween, a bunch of my friends just got together and played PT on the PlayStation. And I never once touched the controller, but I loved watching it. So I, I really enjoy watching horror games. Ooh. I'm very healthy, which means I'm probably about to not be healthy. I was going to shoot it, but I think ammo is, like, really important. So maybe don't. My vertical sensitivity is really low. I'm sure that's probably intentional. See, like, if I was if I was playing this in first person, you've got, like, you know, the, the shadows and stuff. It's, like, dead silent. I would I would not be able to do it. Oh, one million dollars. Like, third person, it's not too bad. Doesn't mean I'm, like, about to do a full playthrough of this or anything. <laughs> Whoops. Hell yeah. Well, what's my other one? Two? Yes. Look at how slowly he does it as well. That's, that's spooky. That's gonna be really, um, disconcerting in panic situations. Oh. Yep. Okay. More lore. Excellent. I think shit's probably gonna happen when we do the power. Oh my god, what? Do I have to actually, like, look at the ones that I need? What was I just in? Control room. Wow, this is cool! Okay, that did not work. So let's have a look at this thing. Do we just have to like do all these ones? O, F, C, D. 
Let's have a look. OF and CD. What's CD on here? Canteen dorm? What's OF? Offices? Let's try those, I guess. Can we just do it then? No. Okay. I am stumped already. <laughs> DA and HA are the other ones. So helipad and decontamination area. We just have to do like all of them maybe? It, it, it does not like that. How am I stumped on this? Okay, luckily some people made a video of the demo. <laughs> Because that's the only way I could figure out how to do this puzzle. You have to, like, turn on the ones that are on, leave the ones that are off, off. So if I remember, like, CD, offices, DA and HA were off. Let's see if we can get that. And then the bottom ones. Definitely that. And that. Okay. That one. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh, why is it so tiny over there as well? Can't believe this. I'm actually taking a photo of the screen. That's how we're gonna do it. <laughs> oh, because I was probably turning too many things on. There's some, like, that aren't on there. Okay, RH is on. Okay, this should be it. And the last one should be cargo area. This should do it. We did it! <laughs> That's the solution. Okay. I don't... I don't know why. Oh. Spooky. I, I I don't know why that would be how you get the power going, but oh! Oh my god, it's so slow, isn't it? What the hell are these things? Oh, he's dead. We did it. That was only two shots, because we're on like super easy mode. Oh, I instinctively just dropped my ammo all over the place. So if we hold R. I think we're reloaded, so it's okay. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was the guy that was right there. Oh, am I gonna be allowed back out? Yes. Please, the zombies in here? Oh. Just one, right? They die very, very slowly, but that's what you have to look out for them being dead. Okay, so if I hold R, that shouldn't waste our ammo. Excellent. But remember, this is on, like, basically the easy difficulty. Oh, that one did a weird little move. Okay, two shots. I think I saw somebody on the Steam forum say it took like four shots on regular mode. Oh. I swear I heard one. I can hear someone. Oh. Oh, got him. Okay. I guess, guess we're fine then. Uh, yes. Yes. Ah, we can bring the helicopter in. Very speedy. Oh my god, they get back up. They do not stay dead. That's terrifying. Okay, let's get out of here before he comes back up. So is that lady up again? No, she's super dead now. May I just knock them down before? That's pretty disconcerting, isn't it? Uh, how are we doing on ammo? I'm gonna get- we must pause when we're doing this, right? Um, who knows? <laughs> okay. I don't think this is gonna be the kind of game for me. There's something down below. 
It looks like a huge submarine Ooh. with markings that resemble biohazard symbols. And could the flag really be Japanese? Focus on the mission, Agent. I don't care what titter-ridden cow curdles the milk those pasteurizing big shots call us in to mop up. Time is running out. Get your ass on the objective. Over. Okie dokie. I'll switch to the other gun for our next zombos. Just want to see what it's like. Oh. There's many down here now. Hello. Like a tiny bit of audio lag, actually. Oh, okay, he's not getting back up. Yeah. We'll switch back and try and, like, headshot this guy. Well. There we go. Oh my god, he's tough. Can't really load an empty magazine. Okay, so I think we have to, like, uh, switch this now? Oh god. I, I do not understand this reloading system. Okay, we're, <laughs> we're, we're one gun down. We've got the ammo for it. Actually, we probably do this. Okay, we can see it does not actually pause. Um, where's, where's, where's the ammo gone? Oh, we've got little maps, that's good. Um, I think we are actually out of ammo now. This is, this is a very strange system, inventory system. I'm basically out of pistol. I think I had like nine. I don't know where it's gone now. And it's like a little bit of audio lag. So if you're seeing in the, that in the video, that's not just you. Right, let's get rid of that head, buddy. Oh my god, get down. There we go. Almost out of ammo on this one, too. <gasps> ammo? That's this stuff, that's good. Oh! Nailed it. He's, he's not reloading. That's fine. I guess. Make sure to retrieve caster first. Okay, um, that's gonna do for this video. I recorded this for 40 minutes, actually. So, oh, it's more ammo over there. Um, that was longer than I was expecting to record it for. It's, it, it's pretty good, like if you enjoy Resident Evil and maybe you played Resident Evil 2 Remake and you want more of the same thing before Resident Evil 3 Remake presumably happens, this is definitely more of Resident Evil. Like, I've never played them, but I've watched a little bit of them and this looks very much like it. Not not like that's a bad thing, you know, they the team did a ton of work for the remake, so it, it only makes sense they would put like all of that work towards making their own game. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, I never really liked the idea of how slow and like puzzly Resident Evil was. So if you didn't like Resident Evil, you're not going to enjoy this one. <laughs> but obviously, you know, vice versa. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.